Lady Camel owner or simply an adoring camel fan, you're in the right place for some fun, useful and interesting camel talk. This is the Camel Connection Podcast. We're your hosts, I'm Tara. And I'm Russell. Join us here for fun learning about camels, how to care for, train and handle them, plus insider stories and interviews. And also some interesting stories of our lifestyle with camels, the good, the bad, the ugly and the very funny. Make sure you've subscribed now so you don't miss out on an episode. podcasts are an audio take of our video so be sure to check those out on our blog for lots of how-to visuals and of course lots of camels this is your one and only go-to podcast all about camels Everybody and welcome back to the Camel Connection podcast. It's Tara here. Hi, it's Russell here. And today we are talking to those who are new to camels. Mm. Where to start? Oh. This is the place to start. Well, first of all, let me just say um, that you've actually started. No, yes. You've actually started. You've made a decision and you're going to run with it. Well, this also, some people might be listening who are not sure whether camels might oh, be for them or not. So. We're also here for you. So we're going to give information to those that are new to camels or those that are possibly could be new to camels. Yeah, look, it's a big decision. Uh, it is a big it's decision. It's a huge decision. I think on emotion well, it's not a big decision because you're like, yes, I definitely want a camel. Yeah, but it's still a big decision. I mean, that you've got to think of the practicality side of things. Uh, you're looking at, you know, possibly 35, 40 years. Yes. Uh, um, at least and then of course if you get more camels at different ages then it's longer it so. is mm. yep mm. I mean I mean life is a no sure way of knowing what's going to happen so you could have them for a long time you could have them for a short time but I being in the know-how is really the key to all of this absolutely um, and yes there will be mistakes of course there will be mistakes mm-hmm. I mean we still make mistakes and you know Bloody we've been in it for years because we're constantly learning about camels we're never ever going to know it all no. um, but today we want to give you guys a head start mm. on mm. if you're new to camels or you're thinking of being new to camels this is where to start yep Yep. So the first point we want to make is, obviously, the obvious point is you need to know their basic needs. Mm-hmm. Space. Space. Mm-hmm. Yes. They need space. Yes, they do. So when we're talking about space, we're probably, we sort of give people an indication when they ask how much space does a camel need. We say usually it's similar to cattle, that you need an acre per camel. Mm, yeah, it depends, I suppose, on the topography and the plants that are around. That's the other of. point. Like if you're in the desert, um, you know, like, or if you're in a, in a coastal area and it's really shrubby, the camels are going to eat more of the shrubs than any of the grasses. Um, so it really is, there is no right answer to this. The only way you're going to know for sure is um, by knowing your land and obviously knowing more about camels. And we're going to give you guys a few resources to jump to here too because mm. there's only so much we can cover in this episode. But mm. one of the resources that we highly recommend you get hold of is our Camel Husbandry eBook. Mm. Um, a lot of people have started dubbing it as their Bible. Now, it is not scientific. It is not veterinarian-based. It is just two people who have had camels for an extended period of time. That's us, a.k.a. us. And we are giving this information on what we've learned about camel husbandry. So we go through things like fencing, paddocks, feed, all this sort of stuff. Because, like, you know, we say an acre per camel, but that's sort of more pasture land more than anything else. And, you know, if you're in a drought, that's a completely different thing again. (laughs) So, like, there is no – I mean, it's this answer is as varied as, you know, as our whole entire world. Mm. So the only way you've got to find out is by, you know, getting an idea of the camel's needs. But – one thing I'd actually suggest it, you know, if you are looking at land or you've got land or something like that, then gain, you know, some sort of local knowledge mm. of where you are 
and um, what people do on their land yeah. around the place. You know, how many horses do they have on a particular patch or, you know. What's yeah, it? it's a little bit hard to compare to another animal. For instance, like horses pref- will, will eat grass over trees and shrubs. So this is, this is a point for any new camel owner or, you know, considering own, owning camels, they love shrubs and trees. And if they have that, a lot more of that than grass, guess what they're going to eat? Shrubs and trees. That's why we're re That's why we're re, re- I mean, our land here, we're on pasture mainly because, you know, people, most people, are, they build on pasture land sort mm-hmm. of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Um, we're revegetating the land to mm-hmm. lots of Australian native plants so that our camels can – we're actually going to be able to feed more camels because we can put a lot more shrubs than we can grass, for instance. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's 3D feeding. 3D, that's feed. how you yeah. say it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Did you have anything else you want to add on that one? Uh, no, but, I mean, you, know, you might also be looking at um, adjusting your camels. Yes. Okay. Um, so, you know, do have a look around. Um, and uh, and just make an informed decision. Yeah. Right? Get, you know, get that local knowledge. I mean, the, obviously the ideal environment for a camel is the desert. Yeah, Well, for uh, sure. You know, even a Bactrian camel because they live in, you know, they come from Mongolia area so, and their environments are f- very harsh. Yeah. So hence the desert sort of environment. So basically what we recommend any new camel owner to do is try to replicate that desert environment as much as you possibly yeah. can. Yeah. So that would be feeding and that would be protein levels and that would be, um, you know, shelter if the camel's not used to sort of harsh environment because obviously dromedary and bactrian are, are different. That's right. Um, what else did you want to add to that? Well, I mean, yeah, you actually mentioned it, shelter. I mean, you know, different parts of the world it snows. Mm. Um, more so than what, well, we don't get snow here. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you might be uh, looking at uh, actually having to house your camels. But some camels to... like standing out in the snow too. Well, this is it. <laughs> you know, there's so many ifs and buts. Yeah, there but, is. Um, you know, you do have to be, you know, have a common sense approach. You do. And that's the thing. I mean, you know, like every land is different, every environment's different, every camel is different. I mean, we've, we've got clients and their camels have shelter, but mm-hmm. their dromedary camels choose to stand out in the snow. I do, yeah. So yeah. it's just, you, that's just something you work with. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you're looking at sort of more feed, obviously feed requirements are a big thing. Now, um, camels are, are very different in their dietary needs compared to any other animals, well, more traditional animals like uh, cattle and horses and sheep, <laughs> I suppose you could say. <laughs> They're this, the most common ones in Australia anyway. Um, so they actually require a lot more salt in their diet compared to any other animal yeah, too. Yeah. So that is, I would say, one of the biggest mistakes that I see new camel owners make that are unaware of this, the salt intake of camels. Mm is that the camels aren't getting the salt intake and they become ill fairly quickly. They do. And, look, it's got to be loose salt. Mm. Uh, you just simply go to the hardware store, buy pool salt. Yeah, make um, sure it's got no chlorine no in it. No chlorine just in it, of course, salt. you know, just ordinary mm. sodium chloride. Yeah. And uh, and have it loose. And if you can't get it loose, if it's in a block form, mm. um, then, you know, bash it up mm. so that it is loose. Because mm. um, they will eat it. They will munch it. Yeah, and just go for it, you know, with that loose salt. They need salt. I know a lot of a lot of people have come to us, students, um, saying they're concerned on how much a camel is eating salt. Yeah, don't, and don't. we are never concerned about no, how much salt. Because here's the thing that also we've seen is the camel has been without salt ever since this person has had the camel. Maybe it's been three years. Yeah. And this camel will eat like, I mean, a camel's going to eat a kilo of salt a day. Yeah. That's a lot of salt. Um, and this camel will eat salt, you know, eat and eat and eat and eat for months and months and then... They will just go back to the ordinary nibble, yeah. Um, because obviously they're trying the to get body their body has been readjusted, intaked yeah. up again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but with that, I mean, uh, look, there's all sorts of lick blocks and all that sort of stuff on the market as well. Do we mention this in the um, e-book? e-book? We do. We do. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, those lick blocks. Um, don't do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's as simple as that. Just don't do it. And right? actually, in the Camel Compodium book, we mentioned, I think, on the last podcast. I can't remember yeah. now. Um, they recommend against it too, yeah. which I thought that was interesting. That compodium, if you can get a hold of that, 
that's a good book to have. Yes. Yeah. I think it's only available in uh, PDF, PDF format, form. not print. We're lucky yeah. to have a print one. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, you can actually From buy... Sydney University, if I remember rightly. Yeah, you, I think if you Google Camel Compodium, it'll come up it'll and you can up. buy the PDF copy and get Which it printed. Print it off, yeah. 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 It's costly to print, like hundred bucks, but <laughs> hey, it's worth it. It's a Bible. Yeah, it's absolutely. a Bible, veterinary Bible. It is more veterinary based. Yeah, um, but we're talking sort of about the basic needs and a lot of the misconceptions people have, which is um, one we've already covered that camels, you know, require a different diet. They're not mm. necessarily pasture eating animals. They will, mm. but they prefer the variety in feed. Mm. Um, and we we've witnessed that out in the desert environments that one absolutely. day they'll be eating a shrub continuously all day all day and then the next day they won't even touch that one because they've got what they need from that shrub they're very good at self-medicating in that respect and then we talked about salt as well and how their body needs requires a lot more salt than any other animal Mm. and they need that available to them all the time loose salt and i think the next really important point is the minerals as well we've got that mineral mix we yes so out in our camel husbandry ebook we have mentioned the mineral mix that we use and we've had a really great success with yeah and it's actually when we mix up ourselves we find that the sort of pre-made ones have got other stuff in it that aren't couldn't be particularly good for the camel Mm. on a long-term thing Mm. um so that's why it doesn't take long to mix either no, no, not at all. you haven't really mixed it. That's why it doesn't take long. <laughs> <laughs> so Tara is the mix. <laughs> it's also oh, goes. dear. Tara loves doing this sort of stuff. Um, you know, myself, I'm... I'm, I'm I more, love mixing I'm minerals. Definitely, definitely I wouldn't say desert that. Base, I think, yeah. I'm a desert man. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. The it's, mineral it's, in quite... It's easy. Like, you know... Clients that have come to us with these issues, camel husbandry issues, and we've just said, try this mineral mix for four weeks and tell us how it's gone. Skin issues have disappeared. Yep. Parasitic issues have disappeared along with proper treatment. Yep. Um, oh, we, the weirdest things you think wouldn't barely affect, you know, think something simple as minerals, which normally would come from what they're eating, but, I mean, our grounds and our soil is so depleted, yep. mo- most almost all, everywhere around the world, um, they need that mineral supplement mm. and um, our mm. camels feed it to themselves now, mm. um, as in they, they, they self manage Well, that's it. And I, I should have mentioned we've also described this in the book um, that, you know, initially what we had to do to get the camels used to the minerals was to mix it in with hay and feed. And yeah, because like they weren't used to it. They weren't used to it. They weren't just automatically going to stick their snout in the trough. Mm. And uh, all the bucket of mineral mix and get, get, go for minerals, mm. but we trained them into it. We trained it. them into it, and mm. now they self medicate. So we don't have to mix it with um, hay or yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, and we've seen some just amazing things, issues yeah. solved, like from of camels. Um, yeah, we just got to try the mineral mix. I mean, like it's an obvious thing. They need salt. They need minerals. Let's fix those two things and see if it um, it resolves a lot of problems. And yeah, it has yeah. for many of our clients, which I'm so so pleased for them because yeah. you know yeah we've had great feedback on that yeah mm. Mm. um so okay that's a few of the basic needs. I mean, you can dive deeper into this. Obviously, going through our camel husbandry ebook, you can go get that over at our website camelconnection.com and just click on our shop mm-hmm. in the menu bar. And, um, you know, it's fairly cheap. It's a great investment to your library. I mean, you know, even if you have all the other camel books, it's oh. definitely one to add. I mean, we've got all yeah. the camel books. So, yeah. you know, we, have, yeah, we've got them all. <laughs> so it's ne- you can never have too many camel books. No, you can't. Mm. Because, I mean, you know, one book will say one thing and another book will say the same thing but a different way. And, you know, You've got it's to just, just how, work it how out. people learn, you know, that uh, sometimes, you know, there might be a word or a sentence or a phrase that you say, oh, yeah, that's right, That's that, that makes good sense now, I understand. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you start procedures and uh, and it all works for you. Yeah. So, Absolutely. yeah, add it to your book list. So the second tip we want to give you, you know, um, you, you know, for the new for the people that are new to camels and how to start um, with your new camel journey, on your new camel journey, is you need to start learning about um, how a camel thinks. Mm. This is like, I mean, beyond their basic needs, this is probably the thing that's going to set you and your camel up for success. Mm. Mm. Did you want to say something on that? 
Uh, oh, gosh, that's a whole topic in itself, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, we talk a lot about this anyway, but yeah. maybe just express the importance of, of that. Okay, so for new people uh, looking at camels and, you know, working out, okay, well, how do these camels think? What's best for them? Because that's, at the end of the day, the most important thing. Mm. All right, you are now in control. And uh, you need to responsible. be responsible. You're the custodian. This. Okay. Um, sorry to sound so authoritarian, but um, it is. It's like uh, adopting a child. Mm. And uh, what? Well, how does that child think? You know, what's best for that child? You know, etc., etc., etc. Uh, so, yeah, getting to know how a camel thinks. Now, we've got so much material on this. You we just do. need to go through you know, a lot of these posts. Well, so. that, let's just say that can be our second tip is just make sure you you signed up to our email list so yeah. that when a new blog post or you subscribe wherever you are, so when uh, a new blog slash podcast comes out, yeah. that you get that information first yeah. and um, just be that sponge. Yeah, be a sponge of information, and you know that's uh, that's that's all we really focusing on. Really, I mean, you know, these things of talking about, you know, the um, husbandry side of things. Yes, we still we still go through all this. That's sort a of part thing, of but it. The main part is, you know, how do these animals think? Mm. Um, what's the best way of ourselves changing mm. our behaviours to actually match it. Well, you know that Camel Husbandry ebook of ours, that's only just a, a series of answering people's most common questions yeah. because it's always the same. Um, you know, like what sort of fencing is required? What yeah. sort of feed should I, how much feed? And, you know, how do I transport? Or, you know, what about parasites and all yeah. that sort of stuff? So we just give like a layman's term on this is... You know, this is how it's laid out rather than a scientific veterinary perspective which can take hours to find one answer that you're after. Oh, look, I, sometimes I look at some of these science books and, uh, you know, it takes me an hour to find out what a word means. Yeah, that too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty good at, um, you know, deciphering what uh, language it is, but uh, boy, oh boy, yeah, mm. some of it, I mean, it is very specific. Mm. Um, but it's like any new relationship, no, you want to get to know how that person thinks you want to get to know them and it's the same yeah. for a camel is you you want to get to know their individual personality because each camel will have their own individual personality um, um but there is a certain way that camels think absolutely yeah absolutely and i'm just watching one camel at the moment sitting down in a nice comfy spot and another camel's just come over <laughs> and i guarantee you they're going to, she's going to get this other camel to stand up so that she, uh, she, she can take it. She can take that comfy <laughs> spot. I guarantee you. I know it. That's funny. Mm. I can. I can. I know who it is too without looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you want to be like with your camels too. Is you want to understand their personalities to the extent that you can start reading their minds. Mm. You know. Mm. And this is what they call camel whispering. You know, we went we went through that in a couple of episodes before that is reading the camel's minds and uh, amongst many other things. But you can go ahead and, and listen to that previous um, episode. Yep. But for you to learn how a camel thinks is one of the most important skills you have. For sure. And look, you know... Um, and it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. No, definitely not. Look, a camel's not a horse, it's not a cow, it's not a dog. Mm. Uh, a camel is a camel. Um, and, you know, they, they do think differently um, to all those animals, including ourselves. And, you know, getting to know who they are and how they think is just a wonderful journey. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's a years-long journey. It will never stop as a journey. No. It doesn't stop. If you hear anyone proclaiming that they know everything about camels... Yeah, uh, yeah. I would be suspicious. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, no, no one that's does. like someone saying they know everything about life. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. And the number 42, have you seen that? Oh, I probably haven't. No, yeah, I don't think so. That, uh, the life universe and number 42. But I think, um, <laughs> you know, learning about how a camel thinks, and, and this is a freebie that we're giving away also, is that if you head over to our website, camelconnection.com, follow any links that are below wherever you're listening to this and you will see um the introduction to camel camels mm. ebook and we go through how to build you know if you can build a friendship with a camel first and foremost and 
all the psych, the camel psychology, I suppose, that is big at beginner's stage. You know, this is where to start because obviously you're going to be learning this forever, you know, yeah. with your camel. So, but, you know, there's certain basic foundation levels where I think is a good starting point. And so that ebook's actually free and it's called the Introduction to Camels ebook. And you can get that over at our website and it's obvious where to click. So go ahead and click. Yep. And that's, that's a freebie that definitely yep. get your hands on as well. Yeah. And following that. Following that is the um, deciding what type of camel training and handling that you want for yourself and your camel. Mm, there's a lot out there. Well, actually, that's not what a lot of people think mm. because um, many of our clients have come to us um, and they're like, you know, coming across camel trainers and or information is really hard. And even though to us it seems easy because we're putting out content like every single week. Yeah. But it's not easy. Like it can be quite a whirlwind of information and very confusing place if you're googling it. For sure. Look, you know, um, I've always uh, look. I was very lucky. I mean, you know, at the very beginning, I mean, I, I, I wanted to be with someone who um, to be my mentor and my source of information. Who but was you doing... had bad experiences before that. Well, they were my own bad experiences. Mm. Right? I mean, I tried to do everything by myself. And you got a mixed bag of information. I got a mixed bag of information as From well. But people, uh, everybody. Everyone telling me all sorts of things, you know. And but, different yeah. things. Yeah, mm. and uh, but I didn't know which, which way to turn. But I needed to find someone who ha- is or was uh, doing exactly what I wanted to do. Mm. And, uh, and and was thorough about it and knew what they were talking about. And it's clear to me that they knew what they were to- doing. Mm. Uh, I think the quickest way for any new camel owner or wannabe camel owner to get clear on what sort of training and handling they do want is you need to do a self-assessment, mm-hmm. you know, is go, okay, what type of personality am I? Yeah. Am I a um, person that would prefer a relationship with an animal over a working relationship with an animal? Or am I simply, let's just get the job done. I'm not really interested in having a relationship with the animal. I just want to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, I can tell you off the bat, if you just want to get the job done, we're not for you Mm -hmm. (laughs) because we are definitely um, relationship builders between humans and camels Mm -hmm. um so that's just a question you need to ask yourself is is what results do you want do you want a relationship with this new you know woolly friend in your life or would do you just want a simple working relationship for whatever reason Mm. because that's um that's a yeah yes or no answer and yeah i think i i know i know what happens what happens well anyone that's just going in for you know uh, sole purpose Mm. Um, they end up building that relationship. They do. And that's happened with a few clients. They're yeah. like, well, first I wanted to do this, but then I wanted to understand the camel better. Then I came across your website and then I just decided I want to do this course. And, uh, yeah, yeah. and then before you know it, they're just hooked. Um, so sometimes it just starts with that, but yeah. um, which is It starts great. with an idea. And starts... Usually it's uh, financial based. Mm. Usually it's uh, getting camels for a specific purpose to develop an income. Mm. But... It's what happens when training the camel. You find out who they are. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And you find out a lot more about yourself too, mm-hmm. interestingly enough. And focus changes. Yeah. Um, because of that. I mean, it's not always the case, but uh, it, it's certainly... I remember that interview we did with Tamara about her four-month Mongolian camel expedition and she was not experienced with any large animals right. at all. Right. And you asked her the question, and you can go back to listen to this interview, by the way. Um, there's a couple, a few ones before this one. And you asked her, you said, so tell me how working with this camel had changed your life mm. in four months. And she just went, oh... Oh, she's like, I'm a completely different person. But she didn't expect that. Mm, mm. You know, she, and you don't go into camels. I, mm. I met a camel and I didn't expect that uh, that'd be in my life for the rest of my life. Did I ask that question? Yeah, you did. Oh, no, right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Guess what, folks? Adventure with dementia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I can't remember asking that. But um, I must have. Yeah, well, I do because, like, she was almost surprised herself and how much her camel had affected her when she really looked within, Mm. you know, and that's just an organic process that happens. Mm. And if you do want to dive deeper into this, like the psychology of the camel and how to connect with them um, and how to train them with this connection 
connection approach we do actually have a free webinar it was recorded um live mm -hmm. so you can actually re watch the replay um and we had people asking questions at the same time so you can hear what people were asking and it is the camel training webinar and again that can be found over at our website in a very obvious place just yep. over at camelconnection.com now that webinar was actually attached to our course our, our core yeah we were launching virtual camel school core product really isn't yeah it? you know this is um this is um you know something that we've developed uh, for, for over years and years and years um through many you know sources of information um you know starting with lessons learned <laughs> lessons learned and Hard everything lessons. um you know own philosophies and um uh, looking at uh, the animals and looking at other animals to be able to look at camels and look, it, it's there's so much involved in what uh, you know has uh been collated for want of a better word uh in putting together our core product mm. which is the camel connection and trust based training Cam camel course yes. <laughs> Close, it's very close. Like camel said, connection, yeah. camel connection, trust based camel training. That's our here. registered trademark. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, it is. It is our core product. I mean, like Russell said before, is that yes, we have these camel husbandry mm. ebook, but it's complementary. It's only because we decided that we might as well answer everyone's questions in one book, basically, mm -hmm. and say, well, you know, here's the most common questions that we get, mm. and you know, read this, print it off, you know, have it as you go to. Mm -hmm. um, um, along with some other camel books that we recommend, I think in in that same ebook. Mm. And you know, you've got yourself you got yourself set up as a starter, as a beginner. Mm -hmm. You know, is that he he's your husbandry information, and here's the information or the starting point on how to get to um, start think learning how a camel thinks. Okay, so really, what you're telling me is that everything is sequential. Uh huh. <laughs> what you, oh God, have you got dementia too? Um, no, everything's sequential. I mean, you're, you're a new owner, okay, here's, here's the e-book, here's the, you know. Yeah, well, the, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling no, no, <laughs> but we're telling everyone, right? Okay. So it's step by step. It is step by step. I mean, yeah. you, I think also, like, I mean, because obviously our core product, which is our online course slash in-person courses, um, you know, they are... An investment, com like compared to a cheaper ebook, for instance. Yeah. And it's not cheap in the respect that it's cheap information, but you know it's useful information. But it's a starting point. Sure. And most people start there. Yeah. And then um, they, or you can Im just decide to invest straight into the online camel training course, and you get your, the ebook for free right. because there's no point. In having the training course, and you're going to be asked all these additional questions. So we thought we just the e -book. we just chuck the camel husbandry ebook in for free, that's and then people have got it. So that's um, well, that's a serious camel owner that wants uh, that's right uh, the best to, for their camel. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the best for the camel and the best for themselves. Mm. And, you know, there's no confusion. It's it's logical, it's sensible, it's laid out. There mm -hmm. it is, step by step. Excellent. So, guys, these are your steps for you know, if you're new to camels, this is where to start. Mm. I, the first place, go over to our website, get hold of all the freebie information, get hold of the introduction to camel ebook, which is free, and get hold of the and start watching the camel training webinar, which is also free. Yep. Get your juicy hands on the camel husbandry ebook, which is a paid one, um, and or you can sign up to the uh, to our online course, course which will give you a lot more in depth but you know everyone needs a place to start for sure and i suppose we go to the next point which is well i mean this is all what you can do with the web we but, like but internet. we also hold clinics yeah yeah absolutely well that's right. part of the training you can do the online training or you can do the in-person training if you do the in-person training you're going to get the online training as a bonus anyway so yeah. that you can revisit any of the lessons because it's all – we never change the structure. Uh, it's always the same structure. It's some people like to learn in person. It's sort of like a skeleton. It's like a skeleton. And, yeah. And everyone adds the meat. You fill in the blanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the meat to the subject. Yeah. Hmm. And, like, some people will do the online course – and then they'll just like they just want to do the in per experience it in person, in person. with us. Yeah. Um, some people do it in person, then they want to go on an international journey with us or whatever. Yeah. Like it all, it's all just one big web of learning, yeah. and um, it does become addictive. So that does come with a warning. Uh huh. 
Yeah, you're set for life. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> camels camel. come become very addictive. I oh, mean, we're, we've even got clients that don't have camels, but they just keep coming back to all of our stuff. Oh, for sure. Because they just want to be with camels. Look, how many veterinarians have come and done our course? Oh, I don't know. Hey? Lots. Oh, I can't even count that high. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so many and it's interesting because we're the ones going to them for information about camels and yeah. health, and then they've got their basic knowledge, which yeah. is really helpful when we're trying to figure stuff out. But usually, we work with our veterinarian and say, "Look, this is what we know about camels, and can you give us your scientific perspective?" And then we add two and two together, yeah. and then we try to resolve the issues if it's a medical issue. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I suppose if anyone's sort of thinking along those lines of, uh, you know, okay, well, that sounds really good, but uh, how good is it? I mean, they can always just have a look at the reviews. Yeah, of course. And uh, yeah. well, most people do. Yeah, and well, quite I mean, a number of vets that have actually written back to us after doing the course. So, yeah. Yeah. Any vets out there? Yep. Yeah. 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 And listening to this, and um, you know, check it out. Absolutely. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's really good to hear other people's feedback. I mean, that's the only reason why I buy stuff. If I'm looking at a mattress to buy, which I am, <laughs> a new mattress for our bed, um, I will look at the reviews before looking even at the product description. Yeah, for sure. Because I'm like, well, I want to know, and a lot of the mattresses that have appeared to look good on, you know, in ads and all that, yeah. I've read the product review and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm going to switch over to something else here. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. No, so, guys, this is your go-to. Head over to our website, camelconnection.com. Get all your freebies. Um, obviously, you can buy the Camel Husbandry ebook, or even if you want to get the ebook for free, you can sign up to the do the Camel course. Yeah. Um, lots of information there. Heaps. We want to give you a head start, and um, you know, there's not a lot of information out there, but we want to make sure that you have got the head start that you. Deserve. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it can be a really confu confusing, you know... Time. <laughs> it can be a really confusing time uh, when first starting into this, you know, camel business, if mm. you like, or camel, you know, hobby or whatever it is that you're doing. And that's exactly why we do what we do. It's because we've yeah. been in that confusion. Yeah, and um, don't want it again. No, well, no. it's not going to happen we again. Well, it's not going to happen with us, but, I mean, you know, for anyone That's else, new. I mean, you know, the whole purpose why, I mean, initially I started the, the business was actually to teach people about expeditions, mm. how to do an expedition. Because mm. I've just finished that uh, two-year journey that I did from, um, well, six and a half thousand kilometres. Mm -hmm. And you can um, read about that in Camel Man Dreamy. You can. That's Get it, it on Amazon or wherever. On Amazon or wherever it is. Um... But um, I didn't want to have to go, oh, for other people, I mean, it was such a great experience, um, life-changing, life-changing experience, walking through Australian deserts um, for two years, really, and then uh, through the city of Melbourne um, for a particular charity, um, that I didn't want other people to have to go through the confusion that I did, mm -hmm. and uh, through all the pain and the suffering, and you know, the, oh god, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how the business started. Yeah, it was. I it really to was. Help other people to get out there and do it. Yep, whatever it is they want to do with camels. Yeah. So this is our encouragement to you: get out mm. there and do it. Get all your freebies over at our website, camelconnection.com. Yep. And start your journey now. Go for it. Okay. Thanks Good for tuning you. in. Right. I see ya. Bye. Bye. If you like this information we've just shared with you, you'll be sure to love the free camel ebooks and training videos that we're giving away. We're giving away two camel ebooks, Introduction to Camels and Introduction to Camel Training. Plus, in our bonus camel training videos, we take you through training and handling camels built on connection and trust. And we also share how to understand a camel's way of thinking. This is gold information that you don't want to miss. So be sure to sign up now to get your free ebooks and training videos over at camelconnection.com.